Ken on directing. Yeah. Now, uh, backstage a little bit earlier, uh, we had Alan Hunter. And right now we've got Alan's interview with Mick Jagger. Alan Hunter backstage at JFK Stadium with Mick Jagger, who's going to be a very busy man this evening. Yeah, well, yeah, everyone's been busy today. Yeah. I'm not as busy as Phil Collins, but I'm pretty busy. <laughs> you didn't fly over from Wembley, that's no, for sure. No, 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 I didn't fly there. But, no, this is enough. <laughs> well, you, with all the activities tonight, have you rehearsed for everyone? Yesterday, or, uh, yeah, yesterday, I do know that you rehearsed with Tina. Yeah, we rehearsed, uh, we rehearsed with uh, the band, all, uh, all notes and attempts. Works for like four hours actually, and we rehearsed before in the week, so you know we know our bit pretty well. Are you looking forward to singing with Tina? Yeah, I've sung with her quite a few times before, though. I mean, I don't think we've done a big stadium show or nothing, of course, like this, but we've sung together before. How about uh, Daryl Hall and John Oates as a backing band? Well, yes, yeah, the band too, but they're great and they've been very, very, very good with me about it and worked very hard on it, and you know I think they've been wonderful. Well, we asked Daryl how he felt about uh, singing back up for you. He said it was an honor. So. <laughs> That's nice. I, I thought he was just going to play the tambourine a bit. No, no, he's, sing he's singing away there. Yeah, no, he is. Yeah. Uh, we saw the video earlier. Yeah. With you and David. David. Yeah, Dance in the Street. How yeah. long ago did you do that? I think it's like 10 days ago. It was a real kind of um, um, quickie. I'm just watching the end of Phil Collins. Uh, it was a real quickie. We, got, um, we went in the studio, in the recording studio at 8, and we finished the track by 11. And you're gonna say it sounds like, it. Uh, and then, and then, um, and then we went to do the video uh, in London about midnight. We finished eight o'clock in the morning, so the whole thing took like 12 hours, which is the way I prefer to do it. And, and it kind of has, I think, it's nice because it's spontaneous to work like that. Uh, is it gonna be released as a single? Well, we're thinking about it. You know, we thought uh, we would um, be another few pennies for the uh, for this number from David and I. So. You know, we, 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 we'll take this. I haven't actually heard it since I've done it. I've left it with David, and he's going to send me the tapes this week. Um, how did you get involved with Live Aid, Dan? Um, through Bob Geldof, who I've known for a long time, actually. And, uh, um, you know, he approached me. To, actually, he said, would you like to do the duet with Tina? As I think so. I said, yeah. And then after that, he said, well, would you like to do something else? I said, well, I said, what happens? And then we got down the road with uh, uh, Daryl and John, like that. I guess rock and roll is a pretty good... Uh, um, entity to go after a cause like this, huh? Yeah, because like all around the world, it's very much the, the thing that everyone can uh, can be in sympathy with. You know, it's like uh, music is, uh, you know, the, you must have heard these cliches all day. Um, but, you know, from a different mouth. Uh, but, but, you know, I think, you know, for all over the world, I mean, you know, uh, literally all over the world, people will know uh, something about this kind of music. They might not know every performer, but they're going to know some here, some there, and they're going to it's going to be a good show for them. So I think it's like the only thing almost like that. Uh, briefly, Stone, what's happening? Well, just uh, starting to, you know, do the second stage of recording our album, which we hope to be out in full. Thank you. Thank you, Mick. Go to it tonight, okay. Yeah. Al Hunter backstage, JFK. We'll have more. Stick around. And Mick Jagger will be coming up soon, live on stage. I can't wait for that. The biggest yeah. day in rock and roll is going to wind up with Hall & Oates, by the way, who are going to be uh, backing up Mick, and some special guests, Patti LaBelle, and another all-star jam session. Stay with us. <laughs> Fourteen hours and let's see, twenty minutes into Live Aid and the rock and roll continues. Ever since we heard about the Live Aid concert, Tina Turner has been a part of it. Earlier today, Alan Hunter talked to her backstage. Alan Hunter backstage with Tina Turner who just rushed in and is almost going to be rushing out as soon as we uh, get through with this thing. How you doing? Great. Great. Uh, do well with you and Mick tonight. How did that come about? <laughs> well, I don't know. I, I was just trying to think of how I could be my best, to just be with everybody instead of just coming, you know, with my band because I'm coming very soon for a concert. And so as I was had it in my head, Mick called and said uh, he had read an article in Rolling Stone that uh, I loved to uh, stay the shop. He says, why not? Uh, let's do it together. And I, I was so excited. Easy as that then. Yeah. Uh, rehearsal time for this thing? We had about an hour. <laughs> well, I mean, come on, it's not about perfection right now. It's just about having a good time and being here for the people, and that's what we're doing. We might mess up a few lines, but 
and that'll be the spontaneity that we'll all be looking That's forward right. to. Uh, Mad Max is out. I got to ask you about that briefly. What a hoot! <laughs> well, actually, I'm wearing one of the costumes that I was photographed from Mad Max. No, no, not this one. But um, it's a very exciting movie. I'm very excited about it, and um, I think it can really set me up for acting. I think so too. What did you cancel to be here tonight? Well, we had uh, to cancel a date, and uh, we were in St. John's, Newfoundland. <laughs> but we had been there three nights, and so it was all right. Good. Yeah. Good. Why is this important to you, Live Aid? Well, first of all, you know, in any case of hunger, or in any case where anyone could help anyone, and they really can, I think anyone should stop and just take that time. I mean, if we're looking at hunger on the television and knowing that it is a reality and uh, Gildoff is making it an actual point, you know. So we're realizing that uh, these people are in desperation and that's why I'm here. Go out there and give it all you got. All right. Thanks, Tina. Welcome. Have a good one. Okay. Okay. Let's get back to it. Good afternoon. We were talking about the fact that this event, Live Aid, really has a John Lennon feel about it and Patti LaBelle must